rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes, ashy, ashes. I didn't see you get on. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish step my administration here. Right, here. In the Citadel so far right, be Provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City. Seventeen, my home. And so, whether you are here to stay...
passing through on your way to parts unknown. Were you the only ones on Welcome that train? To City 1715. It's safer here. Dr. Breen again, again, again. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him, last of him in City 14. I was going to signal it to now. This is his base of operations. Where are you taking me? Me? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining, 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 City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here. Must be a mistake. I got a, st got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way, I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, boss, 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 hey, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going until you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Dear Dr. Green, why have you seen fit to suppress our reproductive cycle? Sincerely, concerned citizen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for writing. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses, with all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. Do our, do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for their mind? Because they 